Hi there! Today we'll work with computerized quilting on this Sateen Stars project, plus we'll combine workstation designs with freehand quilting on this courthouse step quilt. I'm working on a quilt I call Sateen Stars because it was pieced with sateen cotton fabric. My friend Stephanie Patterson in Colorado started this for me and I just have one block left to complete. But I want to show you how fast and easy I can put the computerized design in there. I move over to the corner and I just use my foot as my guide and I will just click the corner. I'm just finding all of the edges of the block. Like that. And then it will go to my starting point for me and take a stitch. Use my little catch and cut to pull that thread up. And then I can just push OK to start it. The pattern that it's going to stitch out is a pattern by Kim Diamond, and she has provided a free pattern if you want to check out our website. You know, I have so much to do today. I'm going to let this stitch out, and I'm going to go work on another project. I can't wait to get onto this project. This is a really cute quilt. It's a courthouse steps, but it has a lot of other techniques on it as well. In the middle, we have some fused applique. And I'm going to start in the middle by going around the applique. I'm going to outline it. And I'm going to use one of my tools. I have the extended base on. You can see that. There's a, a square base underneath here so that I can go ahead and use one of my tools here. I'll just put this around there like that. And my left hand can just guide this right around as I stay very, very close to the applique. And you notice that my left hand, that's the hand that's on the tool, is nice and flat. I don't have to hang on to anything as I go around. Now when I get down to this part, I'm going to stop and I'm going to stitch on the applique, add a little bit of detail in there. So we're just going to put a, a kind of a leafy look inside here and inside here. And I did a teardrop shape here in the middle and then right next to it another one. So it turned out to be kind of a feather look. There we go, right inside of the applique. Then I'll come over and I will guide my machine back up here. We're going to do a tiny little stipple in this area, just finish this up, because I want this to really show off the applique. And so if I can do a small stipple in this area, it will raise that design out of the quilt. So we'll kind of pound that down around all of that fused applique. There we go. That completed the center. I'm going to move over to this area. I just need a little detail. I hate to leave that area unquilted. So I'm going to go down, take a few little security stitches, and again all I'm going to do is a teardrop except I'm going to have a point at the top. So it's just kind of an up and down and up and down and then I'm going to come over here and make a little curl and over here and make a little curl. So we just sort of put a little motif in there, a couple of stitches to secure it. In this area I'm going to do an inside out design, which is a design that I made up, but it's become very useful. And I come over and I make a little hook design, and then I do that pattern meandering which is just all curves out to the edge and back to the hook. Out to the edge and back to the hook. Reaching out, it, you can fit this design in any sort of a shape. So it's really fun and it looks the same on every corner even though it's a freehand design. And that's one of the things that I really like about it. Now in the dark purple triangles I have done a continuous curve so I want to show you how I did that. I'm going to swing out. I've already stitched in the ditch here. 
and I'm going to swing out to about um, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch as I come over here like this. And then I have a seam here, so I'm going to do the same thing, swing out and back in, swing out and back in, and out and in, and out and in, and out and in. And that's all I need to do in that area. And this neon green thread is really showing off these designs, especially in the darker fabrics. But it really shows up good in the dark, too. Um, and it'll give it wonderful texture. Now, in this light blue area, I know that that's one of the highlights of the quilt. Anytime you have a light area on your quilt, that's going to be one of the places that you're going to want to highlight and do some really great quilting in there. So I did a freehand feather in there. I'm going to show you how I did that. I first of all came up, and I didn't come up all the way. I came up to about an inch from the edge, like this, but I went back and put polka dots in here. So if I follow one of the sides up, round and back, follow one of the sides up, round and back, follow one of the sides up, it's got a flat side to it really. Round and back and round and then I follow the other side back down like that. And then I can come over, clear up and over, trace that back down and then make another feather. And each time I'm going to come clear back to the center if I can, or at least to the edge of that seam line. So I'll show you what I mean. See, I come back to the edge of that seam line. I'm going to come out with another feather, trace the edge of it back, reach out and come back to this edge of the seam line again and reach out and I and I want to make sure that I reach clear over because I want to fill in all of this area as much as I can with quilting and again back to the seam line and over and this will be my last one and this time as I come along I'll just follow that seam line clear over to here because I'll start the other side of this feather trace it back come back around trace it back you can see how fast you can do a feather in a really odd area. This is a very odd area to, uh, to put a feather. Many people may not even attempt that. But you can see that it's not hard, don't be afraid, to put feathers in odd shapes because it's, it's just lovely. There is our last feather in that area. And we'll stop right there. We'll do our little stitches along there to secure it. Move our machine away, bring up that thread, make sure we tug on it so we don't have any tails left underneath the project when we're finished. And then we have one other little area. I've done some circles around in the, on, in the courthouse steps and so that has created in this border, this extra little border, a wonderful area but I wanted to make sure I filled that in with colored uh, with the neon thread as well. So to do that I'm going to just fill it in with some pinwheels and some of the pinwheels are going to be larger because they're going to be filling in that area where the circles go down deeper and then some of them are going to be shorter. You see, just move your machine around. Here's one that's larger and I'll be going around this corner there we go. And you see, just kind of move your whole body when you're doing this, really. And one more pinwheel, and that will meet me up with my design. There we go. And so I can take my little stitches right there. Now, I do want to show you how I did a perfect circle in these areas. And to do that, I'm going to go around to the back of the machine and use my workstation. From the back of the machine you can see my workstation and it has the circles on it. I've already positioned my quilt so I just have to determine which circle I'm going to do. And then I just put my little pin down inside of the little groove and go down and get my thread. Move that over and bring up my bobbin thread. There we go. And I just like to pull that back and hold on to it from behind the machine and turn on the machine and go around my circle. 
I go a little bit past where I started and then I have one more circle to do on this one and I'll just jump out. I know that it's just one inch out from where that one was and then I again around this circle. Perfect circles. I could do one every half inch if that's what I wanted to do or I could go around them several times. Now to finish up this quilt, I have a leaf pattern to do on the outside border, so I'm just going to go around and finish that. And this is a really easy leaf pattern. And it's a freehand one. So you just come over like this, make a leaf, like that, and then just come on the outside of it and make another leaf and come on the outside of that one. So I alternate sides as I'm doing those leaves. One side I go on and then I go on the other side. And then I'm finished with this quilt. So we'll go see how those sateen stars are doing now. I love multitasking. That was great. That completes this little quilt.